All right, welcome back. It's still Plus Politics. The chairman of the Southern Governors Forum, Rotimi Akiridulu, has reiterated that the next president of the country must come from the South. Akiridulu, who is also the governor of Ondo State, warned that any political party that failed presidential candidate from the North would lose the presidential election because such candidate would not have the support of the Southern Governors. According to him, those pushing against power rotation in the country are toying with the existence of Nigeria. Joining us to discuss this are Mohammed Abdullahi, Chinedu, Ife Chilobi, and Ayo, Adiwali, all the public affairs analysts. Many thanks for joining us, uh, gentlemen. Thank you. All right, I'll start from you, Ayo. You are from the Southwest. Uh, you uh, just uh, had my introduction. Uh, the governor of Ondo State is saying that uh, if any political party presents a candidate from the North, they will not get the support of the South. What's your position on that? Are you in agreement with the governor? Ayo. All right, I think we've lost Ayo there. Let's, uh, let me take it back to um, Mohammed. Thanks for joining. I'm sure you can hear us. Uh, you've heard the position of um, the governor of Ondo State, and he is saying uh, that... Uh, Um, Mohammed, can you hear me? I can hear you. All right, so, so you have followed the position of um, the governor of Ondo State. I just want to know your candid opinion because he's saying that um, the South would not support um, any party which failed a northern candidate. Um, first and foremost, thank you for having me. Mm. Um, but as it is, all of the parties are shying away from um, rotation of power because. Um, uh, in less than, uh, say, um, one year to the polls, none of the parties, to the best of my knowledge, have come out to say we are picking our candidate, or this is the particular region where we'll be having our presidential candidate come from, whether it is the APC, the PDP, and all other smaller parties. None of the parties are doing that, are saying that at the moment. So I think it is actually wrong for the Agakonia, uh, I mean, the governor of Ondo State, to categorically say that if any party feels a northerner, the southerners will support. And I must say this. You see, democracy, whether we like it or not, is a go is a is is, is, is a is, is a government of uh, numbers, is a product of numbers, I mean to say. And the fact is that the northern part of Nigeria still holds sway in terms of voters' power. So it holds on any candidate, whether it's coming, the candidate, particularly candidates coming from the South, to romance, excuse my word, to romance the North. Mm. Like what have Tinubu doing at the moment? You know, for every little uh, thing here and there in the North, he was in Zamfara before he traveled to London and so on. And even the vice president, whether he won, he has declared or not, but you see him romanticizing the North. He was in Kano State for a public lecture two days ago, but he used the opportunity to visit the uh, the family of the of, of Hanifa that was murdered some um, some some weeks back. So uh, I think it is very important that any candidate, particularly that wants to win the presidential election, must embrace the North because, like we, whether we like it or not. This democracy is a game of numbers. And at the moment, the way Nigeria is constituted, I'm sorry to say, the northern region are at advantage. All right, thank you, Mohammed. Um, uh, Chinedu, uh, let's uh, talk to you right now. You have heard from Mohammed that he feels uh, politics in Nigeria is a game of number and as such, you know, so the South should romance uh, with uh, the North if they really would hold sway come 2023. But I'll take it further to say that uh, wouldn't there be any issue of a um, conflict of interest as regards um, the North uh, or the South, rather, who they are going to feel? Should we? Wouldn't there be issues like uh, should we uh, field out a uh, candidate from the South South or the South East or the South West? What's your position, really, Chinedo? Look, we we have to lay down the peanut butter at this point. First of all, um, we the, the 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 question of leadership should never, never, ever, ever boil down to tribe 
or tribalism. It should never. For, mm. That point has to be made that this is the reason why our country is polarized. This is the reason why a lot of things are happening. I can talk about the Southeast. When I was here the last time, I talked about how, you know, this, tribe, this, this tribal undertone surrounding our politics has caused a lot of issues. And there's so much unrest in the Southeast as it is. Of course, that's not what's on the table. But we should never make the issue of leadership a tribal. It should never be a question of tribe or whatever. Um, coming to what the, the governor the governor has said, well, he's the he's the chairman of, of the Southern Governors Forum. They can decide what they need to do. But Nigerians need to understand that what we need is a leader who will take us from the doldrums because we're at the doldrums. I was on a radio program earlier today in Enugu, and I told them that he that is down needs fear no fall. Nigeria is on its back. We have fallen to our worst. What we need to do is to rise. And what we need to do is to pinpoint that man who will be able to clear the clutter, who will be able to, to walk through the maze and get us out of where we are. Because we are, like I said, we are at our worst. And if I can find a better word to use, we are at our worst right now. And what we need is someone with the right initiative, the right thinking, the right, the right tactics, you know, to get us out of this nonsense that we're in. It should never be an issue of tribe. If we come to numbers, there are a lot of factors. You can't just say that the North is, is super when it comes to numbers. I'll just go against my, my, my values of not being tribal or, you know, following the line of polarization in any way. But if you look at it, um, the is, is, is mostly made up of Muslims, while the South is mostly made up of Christians. And if you look at the, the religious constitution of the country by population, the Christians are more. So you would know that the Christian North will possibly go with the Southern choice. So you can't just sit down and say that the North is, 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 is superior when it comes to numbers, because there are other tiny, tiny factors that you need to look at. But to round you know, this thing up so that other people can speak, it should never be a question of tribe. We should stop right. playing that tribal game. All right, Chinidu, uh, do we still have Ayo there with us? All right, yeah. Ayo, so let me throw back the Hello? same question. Yeah, I can hear you. Let me throw back Hello? the same. Hello? Ayo, we can Hello? hear you. Ayo, we can hear you. Okay. Okay. So I'm trying back the same question to you now. Would you really say that uh, the issue of uh, ethnicism, you know, zoning and uh, all of this talk about the North and uh, the Southern dichotomy, you know, they've actually done us more harm than good and uh, they've actually brought more disunity than even pushing Nigeria together as one? I think we lost uh, your... Are you, are you still there? Well, uh, because uh, all right, let me, let me get back to... I can hear what you're saying, Ayo. Let me get back to Mohammed. Mohammed, you have followed uh, you know, the conversation so far. And Chinedu said it goes beyond uh, numbers. Uh, it goes beyond uh, the polarization as per ethnic groupings, as per the North, the South, uh, the Southwest, the Southeast, that it's even more to religion and all of that. But as it is right now, shouldn't the conversation be more about uh, who has the best interest of Nigerians at heart, who has the pedigree, and who has you know, all that it takes to bring a better Nigeria? Mohammed. should be. Um, I agree with my brother, Mr. Chinedu, that um, we as Nigerians should concentrate on who is best to deliver the dividends of democracy to the country and its citizens at large. But uh, we must also understand that these things doesn't just come in. There must be a process. If you follow our process as a country from 1960, I'm sorry, we are not yet ready to feel the very best candidate. It's, uh, it's shocking, but that is just the truth. Because if you are talking about the very best candidate for the position of presidency, I'm sorry, more than 80, 90% of those who have signaled to the fact that they want to contest you know, the presidency, 
it's uh, they, are, they, are, they, are, they are not they are not in that pedigree they are not in that cadre at all so the fact that we still play to sentiment the plus the fact that we still play to religious card is enough reason for us to rethink at, you know at, at, at this at this moment in time let me give you uh, 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 this example why on earth do you think as a nation we still have the federal character principle in our constitution. That in itself is a hindrance to getting the best prey. Because you are saying, if you have so-so-so here, you must have that there, without looking at the competency, without looking who is best fit for the job. So if you have Mr. A from Quara, you must have Mr. B from Anambra, you must have Mr. C from Adamawa, and so on and so forth. Without, like I mentioned, taking into cognizance these people, what are what will they bring to the table? So the conversation we are just starting, and by like I mentioned, the process that we've been in since independence up to date, we are not yet ready. We and there are, there are a whole lot of things that we need to put in place for us to shift, like uh, to, uh, to for us to move forward in terms of getting the very best brains and the best hands to manage this country. But at the moment, we still play to religious card. We still play to terrible uh, cards. It's unfortunate. All right, thank you so much, Mohammed. Um, Chindu, let's just get your final uh, contribution to this particular issue. As by the way forward, how we can get about uh, better uh, elections and better uh, leaders, better governors, a better president, uh, irrespective of um, religion, thri tribe, or ethnic uh, uh, groupings. Yes, there are a whole lot of things to do. And I think first and foremost is um, education. Uh, and then education, and then education. Education, I mean overhaul of our own system. Uh, from primary to secondary and to our tertiary in institutions. People understand the fact that this country is not meant for a particular people or a particular a cater of people or people from particular religion or particular tribe that it's meant for us all. We either decide to make it grow, to better it, or we want to destroy it all. So, like I mentioned, education is key. It's very, very vital. You can imagine, we have more than 10 to 15 million people, children out of school all over Nigeria. You know, nobody's talking about them. So, it's, 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 it's shocking. So, my own advice would be that we need to educate people we need to go back to school and we need to implement education then that would channel every other thing even in terms of voter education people people have people are not coming out to vote you the last election we have less than 30 percent or 35 percent of the people who registered to, who are eligible to vote coming out to vote it's shocking so my own advice like i mentioned would be education All we right. have to restructure we have to go back to a uh, classroom to teach people they have to do, and we must implement it in order to move forward. Thank you so much, Mohammed. Yet again, Chini Du, can we get your final words on this particular issue? Chini Du? I'm afraid that's as much as uh, we can take. Uh, we'll take a short break now, and when we return, I'll be giving you my take. As the 2023 general elections approach, the issue of zoning is once again central and, as usual, contentious. Why zone the leadership of the country to a particular region when any qualified Nigerian from any region is eligible to contest? Beyond 2023 elections, Nigerian leaders must begin to realize that the zoning policy is not a lifetime replacement for the missing unity in the Nigerian state. They must assist from widening the existing divides, be sincere with the people and truly unite the country so that we all can look beyond the limitations of region, ethnicity, and religion. Then and only then can we begin to truly assess the components of competence. If Singapore, a country with multiracial and multi-religious populace, can unite and progress, it is definitely not impossible for their country, Nigeria. My name is Justin Academia Plus. Politics returns tomorrow. See you then.
south is south is south is because that is our turn. We're supposed to be a, uh, have a president for the next uh, election. You understand? Because when you check everything, how the country is going, how the presidents are, uh, where the presidents are coming, the regions, and you believe that where I'm saying the president will come, supposed to be. I don't care about that. It's just a good person. A good person, that's all. I think God is the one that has a final say. And secondly, we need a God-fearing person in this nation of Nigeria. Eastern part. It's fair enough. It's fair enough to come from the eastern part. Or I don't know if Yoruba should be the western, right? Okay, because we are tired of the north, northern side of the people who really know us. And then we also want something like, um, let's say, let them give a chance of um, younger persons instead of this old old man. Okay, Tinubu is coming out now. He, for me, I don't think he's okay. The decision is from Kabaos. Uh, where they want, that's where it was. But, of course, it's, um, if you look at it, you see that the rotation they are doing is not balanced. Since after war, they say Igbo people will not rule them. That decision they make. And they stand on it. So, if I have to say Igbo people have a chance to rule, but as far as they say, they deny them not to rule the country. What are we going to do? Nothing. South is South is South is because that is our turn. We're supposed to be a, have a president for the next uh, election. You understand? Because when you check everything, how the country is going, how the presidents are, uh, where the presidents are coming, the regions, and you believe that. <laughs>